Yesterday night, I shared with you some ideas about our community. I shared that today, we celebrate the day that five families got together here in Arlington to start this community. Today, we celebrate that 80 years ago, 66 Jews from Arlington attended a high holiday service. Rabbi Mordechai Kaplan, one of my favorite authors of the last century, and a strong believer in the power of community, talks about the changes for what he saw as traditional religion to a new model that he was describing. In his understanding, traditional religion starts from believing in something and goes to a place of behaving until one can actually belong to that community. Kaplan talks about the three B's, belief, behavior, belonging. In his idea of the traditional religion, we would start believing in something, a divine call, a metaphysical event that will change someone's understanding of how the world works. This person would feel compelled to share it with others, as this is a divine message. The divine message requires a certain behavior to be followed, whether the behavior is social, ritual, or theological. One needs to do something about it. One person starts behaving according to this divine message, sharing the message with others who begin to behave in the same way. A belief led into a specific behavior of individual people. There was no meeting, protocols, committees, bylaws, nothing. Just a divine message. A belief transformed into behavior. After you have a group of people who believe in the same things and behave in the same way, we, we can form a community. A community as a group of people that feel that they belong together. Kaplan's innovation is to understand that at least for us modern Jews, this process actually happens in the reverse order. Following Kaplan 3Bs, I want to share some ideas today about the second one, behavior. I consider myself an observant Jew. I struggle every day with my religious duties, whether spiritual or practical. I aim to practice and inspire the integrated Judaism model, understanding the importance of rituals as educational tools that model our character as Jews, teaching us values and practices through ritualization and controlled behavior. At the same time, if we're only focused on this ritual side, we're missing the point of translating it into reality. As I learned from my childhood rabbi, Henry Sobol Zichrono Livracha, the purpose of Judaism is not to make a human being more Jewish, but to make a Jewish human more human. When we were together at camp, I remember seeing him pointing to the walls of the synagogue next to the Aron HaKodesh and teaching us that what happens inside the synagogue is not more important than what we do outside. The Talmud teaches it in a similar way. Rabbi Chia Bar Abba, in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, said that one may only pray in a house with windows. Windows are important to a house of prayer, for the world is greater than that house. As much as we pray inwards, focusing on my behavior, I need a reminder that this is not the end. I like to imagine these spaces as prayer laboratory for the real world out there. Whether one prays regularly in a synagogue, a Beit Midrash, or especially right now 
in our own home. The windows remain the link between the two worlds. Seeing the elements of creation that are outside, waiting to be in relationship with us, is my opportunity to reflect on how this relationship will look like and what I have to do in order to be my best self out there. This Two worlds are actually just one. We cannot dissociate one from another, but understand it as part of a larger system. It doesn't mean that there is no merit in working towards a more just world outside the Jewish framework. My claim to you today is that in understanding these two elements of Judaism as part of a whole, we give meaning and purpose to it, elevating it to a level of holiness and divine behavior. Rabbi Jill Jacobs coined the term integrated Judaism. Her approach to engagement in justice work is to reclaim that is a core element of our tradition, just as our spiritual development we practice inside our synagogues. The life inside and outside our communities should be integrated. It is our moral and religious obligation as Jews to incorporate justice work into our ritual practice. There cannot be a soul in this world without a body. While the ritualistic aspect of our tradition enrich our soul, the justice work we do is what constitutes our body as a people. In the 70s, a group of Jews called Jews for Urban Justice wrote in their manifesto and declared, the Jewish people is not political or religious or cultural or economic or familial. It is a political, religious, cultural, economic, familial. What characterized its peoplehood best at its best moments was the principle of halacha, the way, the path, a wholeness and fusion of body, mind, and spirit, of action and ideology, of person and community. Our sages never understood the political, religious, cultural, economic, familial aspect of Judaism to be outside of the Jewish way of behaving in this world. A significant amount of our halachic body is concentrated with numerous ways we relate to each other, from marriage and divorce to business transactions. We have a religious responsibility to return lost objects that we find. One of the major challenges when talking about Jewish behavior is that we are all different. The joke about two Jews having three opinions or Jews always having two synagogues, one that they go to and another one that they'll never go to, isn't just folklore, but the classic Jewish humor, making fun of our own reality. In my opinion, Diversity is good. It inspires creativity and it helps serving more people with, with different needs and tastes. At the same time that our tradition welcomes diversity, we struggle in defining where we draw the line. It is like the line between the sea and the sand. There are clearly separate domains. One is water, one is sand, but it is impossible to determine precisely where the division is. Our tradition is and has always been a living system that changes the boundaries of its own system. Halakha, the language we give to the standard of Jewish practice, is tied to the verb to walk creating a Jewish way of life that isn't stuck 
in time or space. It is important to keep a communal language of practices that dialogue with each other in their differences. Moving away from our ritual tradition impoverishes our communal relationships and it is our challenge to keep these ideals in a healthy balance. More than ever, Jews today are not a homogeneous group who believe in the same ideals or share the same values. I don't think that we were ever a homogeneous group. Constructive disagreement has always been a core part of our identity as it has helped us evolve as a people. I'm not claiming that we should all agree about everything. There is an inherent level of subjectivity in every claim we can make about our values, but I want to separate what we call values and the methods we might use to transform them into practice. Peace, justice, freedom are Jewish values. Whomever disagrees with that is deviant from our core identity as a people. We can constructively disagree for generations how to make them a reality in our society. But no one can claim that we stand for violence, injustice, and oppression as Jews. Regarding ritual practice, our differences become even more evident. I have lived in three different countries and I have visited many others. The way of being Jewish is different in each one of them. At the same time, I was able to situate myself as part of that chain of tradition as well. For the similarities we still have create a sense of community that I could feel at home while miles away from my own house. Being engaged in this conversation is fundamental in order to add our voices to our communal understanding of the applicability of these values and practices in our society. Just as we need community, our community needs us. Our communal actions are the sum of our individual actions. Our tradition is a treasure that belongs to each and every one of us. No one has a higher claim to it than others. However, you find yourself part of this community. This is your home. You belong here. We will keep you safe. We will take care of you. We will learn together amidst our differences. Strive to find our common grounds, to transform our values in action. We are neighbors, we are family, we are before anything else. Am Israel, the people of Israel. May this new year remind us that diversity is good and that peace, justice, and freedom are Jewish values. May we, we, may we successfully translate our values into behavior as we make choices in all aspects of our lives. May we all continue to follow the integrated Jewish way of walking in the world, a way of spirituality and holiness that feeds the soul and a way of making this world more just and equal taking care of our humanity, for we were all created in the divine image. Shana Tova Umetukah.